definitely something you don't see too much at all anywhere. I mean, two kids that grew up since first grade, best friends all the way through elementary school, middle school, high school, and then end up at a Division One school like UConn playing, playing basketball and playing football. I mean, you really don't see that in many places around the world. You're never gonna beat me, bro. That's the thing. Oh, you get first shot, whatever you want. First grade, we had the same class together, and I mean, we all we sat next to each other, and we started growing the friendship, and then we realized that we only lived a mile and a half from each other, and you know, ever since then, it was hanging out all the time, inside, out of school, basketball court. I mean, we've just been friends ever since. That's money. Oh wow, I suck. Hey. I got nothing. Vicks, you got H. How's football been? How's uh, how's adjusting to the new level, the physicality and stuff like that? The whole game's faster than high school. I've been doing my thing and got the opportunity and trying to take it, take it to the next level. Here's Victor Rosa. Hit in the backfield and dropped. Got the rock one time. Didn't do much with it the first time, but second time, Coach EJ was like, get your butt in the end zone, get your butt in the end zone. Rosa heads to the left. Rosa cuts it back. Rosa goes in. Touchdown, Connecticut. I'm like, wow, he's going in for 40 seconds? And I'm like, that was the best 40 seconds ever. What a moment for the freshman, Victor Rosa. He will remember that run for a long, long time. What did it feel like? like like after you scored it, like what was going through your mind? Like it felt great. It felt great, like a, like a hit a hit a milestone. But like, just uh, it was just the start, start of a new journey. Right. Start of a new, start of a new journey. Mid range game. Oh my god, dude. I feel like these rims are a little like high. Yeah. Might... Not at all. Come on, baby. Come on. Eyes right. Eyes right. We got four down, three down here. Four down, three down. Four. Right. So you're one to two, right? Read it. He has all the tools and gifts that I'm looking for in a tailback. He's got really good vision. He runs the ball with physicality. He's got the ability and enough speed to separate from a defense. And I think he has a lot of potential. You know, sky's the limit for a kid like that who's willing to be coached very hard. And the reality is he's a younger guy that's going to have to grow up fast for us. And we're going to expect a lot from him. And that's why I'm going to coach him hard and expect the standard from him. Come on, man. The details. The details. Your eyes and the details. Over can't here. dance at this level. You just can't. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get it out of your system. Victor, put your mouthpiece in. Your teeth are gonna get knocked out, and your mom's gonna call me and say, why you let my son's teeth get knocked out? Hey, hey, that's how you run the ball. That's nice. Hey, I'm proud of you. Nice job, man. That's a big time step for you, man. Nice job. Come with the trick shots. It's horse, right? Oh, wow. You're gonna get on the board that way. There you go. This is money. I do this every day. No, you don't. Oh! Yep. Wow. H, H. H, H. Here we go. We're all tied up. They've been friends since they were in first grade, and I remember, I'm like, who's that big kid? That's Donovan. He's, he's only in you know, a first grade, but all the parents were asking for his birth certificate. Since T-ball, he looked like five years older than all of us. Going into my freshman year of high school, I went from like 6'8", six, 6'7", six, to 6'11", 7 feet. So, I mean, I had a good ghost spurt going into high school. Everyone knew he was going to be something special, and he knew his dreams, and he always chased them since we were young. You gotta catch it, you gotta get your eyes around quickly, it's gonna be there. Gather yourself and then make a good play. I'm feeling a little bit dangerous, and they're looking a little bit anxious. If I'm laughing while I'm sweating in my fingers, it's only a warning that you can't just walk up to me, talking to me. Ain't no telling my reaction, I can black out. It's very rare that you get a kid from the state of Connecticut who is almost like a must get recruit from the time he's a sophomore in high school. He had become such a huge story in the state. His name and his recruitment became so well known in the state of Connecticut. There was a lot of pressure on our whole coaching staff to make sure that we landed Donovan's commitment. And um, we're blessed that he felt comfortable enough with us and his family felt comfortable enough with us that decided to uh, put his career in our hands. It's a responsibility we don't take lightly, so we're excited about working with him every day. You had your back turned, open up and see both, and then your defensive position to take away the post up. We've been dreaming of this since we were little and working for it since we were little, so um, 
we both have our stories and our journeys, and like we said, like it's a blessing to be in the position we are today. Oh, wow. I can't lose this. Come on, I gotta get clutch. Oh my God. H-O-R-S, one more. Nah, glass is crazy. Should've, should've called backboard. Wow, that's crazy. Come on, man. That's Come on, man. I'm just trying to prove that I'm meant to be here. I'm just trying to show the coaches my work ethic and how I play and how I operate and how I can be a leader on and off the field. My goal is to play and make an impact and help turn this program around. I'm just excited. You know, it's, it's a dream come true, but first dream, now I gotta move on to the next dream and work hard towards that dream. So I just gotta go out there, prove myself, and just, you know, win. Watch me level up. Watch me, watch me.